All right, so what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now today, I finally completed getting every single gun in Modern Warfare 3 Gold. This has been by far the quickest grind I've ever done. And I mean, we're not done with it yet. It's not like I've got into Stell yet, but that is the main part of it. Leveling up all the weapons, getting the gold camos done. Now it's just going ahead and getting the forged and priceless camos, which I reckon maybe around about this time next week, I'll have it done. If not, maybe a week and a half. Or maybe I'm just completely underplaying how quick I can get it done. Maybe it'll be quicker, but anywhere between like three four days in a week and a half i reckon i'll have it so if i just quickly show you guys all the guns gold um i'm not going to go through every single gun that's just going to take forever instead we're just going to have a look right here it says six of six right there so that's all the assault rifles gold got all the battle rifles done smgs which i've literally only just started today like i hadn't even touched an smg before today and i got all these done in one day got all the shotguns lmgs marks and rifles snipe rifles which i don't think were any of the hardest sniper rifles that i've done in my life like i did all these probably in about half a day or so but i have to say the cat amr just sucked my soul out of me like it wasn't even necessarily a bad weapon like it's very quick for a slower uh, sniper rifle but it just sucked the soul out of me like i was just dead inside after doing it but anyway 404 pistols got the launcher forge as well which i did do a video i think yesterday or the day before talking about and finally we got both of the knives done so that's every single gun in the game gilded i've only got three of them four which is the mtz the dg and the uh, rgl 80 or the launcher so i've got 33 guns to go ahead and get forged and then we're going to go ahead and do all the priceless camos and then it's interstellar i did see that they went ahead and nerfed the um x fill zombies or like the amount that spawned in uh in malfair zombies like what well, the strat was that you'd go to the x fill site you'd start the x fill farm all the zombies that spawned and then you wouldn't actually leave and you just keep doing that for an hour and you would just get like loads of zombies loads of weapon xp that's what some people have been doing for the weapon levels but i've just stayed in multiplayer i wanted to get the uh, camera challenges done at the same time as them so i've stayed here but a lot of people have stayed there and they actually went ahead and nerfed the amount of zombies that came into the exfil area and there's probably other strategies that have been found and i suppose that's not what they wanted in their vision is you know people just sitting at the exfil like you know doing that for the mastery camo they want them to go ahead and do like contracts and stuff like i don't really know what you're supposed to do in zombies it's really unclear i mean the most i've seen from zombies is i watched jev's video on it and i watched vanos's video on it and i've also played a, a tiny bit myself i went in for i think it was the uh pulling yacht i loaded in with that gun and i was like right i'm gonna do the weapon levels in here i'm just gonna you know get a feel for the game see what's going on i genuinely had no idea what was going on i was so fucking confused i had no idea where to find the zombies just overall a bit of a shit experience and i mean i did skip through like the um like introductions at whatever pop-up menus they have because i was watching a youtube video so it's probably my fault and i understand that <laughs> but even so it was just clear you just hop in shoot the zombies get to the next round and get to pack a punch but now it's just sort of like like, you're thrown on this open map. You've got to find the zombies yourself. Does it count as a one burst if they've already been injured? This is... Oh, this could be A's. This is... I think I need to aim, like, upper chest, maybe. I need to... <laughs> oh, mate. I've played so much Call of Duty today. I'm so washed out at the moment. How is that not a one burst? Am I fucking... Did I miss a bullet there? Or, like, I'm going to slow that down in the editing. I feel like I probably missed a bullet. Currently half one in the morning. I'm recording this video. I've been up, I think, playing Call of Duty for about 13 hours today. So I've put in a really good shift. Like I said, I've gone ahead and got all the SMGs gold. That's the main part of the grind done. All right, that was a burst kill. There's another. Oh, stuns. That's a good idea. Let's throw some stuns on. Keep people in place. There's another one. I mean, I might have done it during the first um, week of Modern Warfare 2, but the last time I vividly remember going ahead and doing, like, you know, putting in 12, 13 hour shifts on COD was Black Ops Cold War. I think it was the last two days that I grinded the camo. I remember the last two days. I woke up around about, I think, 10 maybe or 11 o'clock in the morning, and I would sit there and grind until about 2, 3 o'clock at night. It's just a disgusting amount of grinding. Like, genuinely, like, I just can't believe I put myself through that, especially on COD older as well like i like that game nowadays that like, i was way too hard on it but i didn't like it that much at the time so i'm surprised i put myself through that yeah i would one burst him but he's sliding around with people have already discovered the two shot revolvers man fuck off as soon as i used the revolver in this game and i saw oh it's pretty much the exact same one from mother warfare 2 i just had a sneaking suspicion that people would get dueled on them and start running around acting like they're fucking shotguns and 
Here we are. They're already doing it, rat boys. Oh, yeah, the uh, COD Endowment event ended up dropping, um, which I think came out earlier in the week. And then they said, like, no, nah, it's not coming out. It's coming out later. Whatever, I don't know. But that event started the other day. I think it said it's got about four or five days left on it. It's basically just gain XP, which is nice to see that we actually get some use for our XP beyond level 55. There's some useless rewards in there, like, you know, charms, stickers, you know, the usual bullshit. But there's some double weapon XP in there. There's a, a 45 minute double weapon xp token which i nabbed up straight away and i've already used does it count as oh wait what that was all right that one's done let's go on to the dm wherever this is now just need to get tax stand skills with this thing and then that's two guns done honestly the camera challenges in this game are so buggy i reckon with that one what it was is that it tracks when you hit them three times not necessarily within one burst because i'm pretty sure i hit that guy three times but in two separate bursts it's just little quirks like that man like this camera grind is like i said before one of the buggier ones that i've ever gone on like it's not horrific but it's just little things that like I'm getting the challenges like way earlier than I should. The one I want to do next after this gun, um, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I can't stay up any later tonight, but it's going to be the uh, combat knife with the five kills without dying. Apparently, the way that it works is that if you get a bloodthirsty, every kill after that bloodthirsty counts as a new progression. So if that's actually true, I want to get that done as soon as possible before they fix that shit because five kills without dying five times on the knife sounds painful as fuck. Like, I don't even know if shipment would even help with that. Like, because shipment... Shipment is so high octane and there's people everywhere. I think you just find yourself dying so quickly. So I don't even think it would be beneficial. Fucking hell, if I'd have thrown that kill then. <laughs> oh, I'd have been fucking angry. He just disappeared. I don't even kill him. This gun is honestly so much fun to use in tax stands. I noticed it when I was using it, like, just for normal. But it has such a tight hip fire. It just makes it incredible. You get all the, you know, ADS bonuses and stuff for tax stands. It's just so much fun. Look at that. Mate, have you ever been sat there gaming for so long that your ass just becomes sore? Like, that's literally the point I'm at now. I've been playing so much Call of Duty today. My ass is sore. I ain't ring around. Don't fucking try and punch me. I ain't even ring around the roses. Fuck you. Nothing says fuck you in the Call of Duty game to me more than someone punching me. Like, I remember the whole time during Rebirth when I played it, like, tons. You know, that, like, first phase of when a game starts in any BR when, like, you land in and, like, nobody's got any guns and, like, they, they always try and punch you? Oh, my God, I'll get so fucking vexed during that, that phase, honestly. Fucking hell. Please ignore my bad aim, by the way. Like I said, I've been playing this game for like 14 hours straight today. I mean, I had a pizza break midway through, but that's about it. If I can get all these tax dance kills done in this game, I'll be happy. That's two forged guns already, and that's across two games, so I'll, I'll be proud. I mean, there's some challenges like this where, like, 25 tax dance kills. I can do that easily. I could literally do that in one game if I was just exclusively doing that. But there's other ones, like those 15 penetration kills for the sniper. Which genuinely scare me. I, I'm genuinely going to have nightmares about that tonight. Ah, oh, you fucking rat boy. Just peek me, man. Why are we playing this a ring around the roses bullshit? Just fucking peek. Ah, oh, fucking right. She's on our back. I genuinely thought I had the right angle to shoot her, but apparently not. I just bounced off a fucking turtle back. There we go. We got forged. Right. I think I'm done. I, I need a break from God. I don't want to see the name Call of Duty for like at least a good 12 hours. I just need a break from it.